Hi, welcome back to another ASM quick coffee tip. I show you this week how you can add different materials on a facade here and sort of split them up wherever you know whatever you want to. I show you a good way to do it which doesn't take long actually. So I've got a section here and I added some lines for me and I want to apply four different brick materials. So for this tutorial, I just prepared some quick fills here so I can show you with the space click what you do. So let's just do that. There you go. While I'm talking to you. So even so this did not go quite there, obviously we just go there. So some of the windows are not cut out. You just have to do that sometimes manually. That can happen. So I've got to be on the fill and I will we'll just cut one out then you select this hole and we just drag some over okay very simple oh one more right and I do the same with the fill down here and select I cut one out and then you select just the whole of the fill and you can Copy the hole along, very simple. Great, I've got those four um, well, fill pieces now. The next bit is select them, you copy them and we put them into our floor plan. And I will be using the morph tool now. So check the morph tool. Settings are not so important in here for now, whatever you got. Um, space click, space click, space click, space click, select all the morphs and see what we got. As you can see some of the windows again didn't cut out so we have to do that manually. Just select the morph and we add with space click some windows in here. That's one thing that's different to the fill. If I go now into 3D as you can see it doesn't straight away cut them out that's the morph to us just the way it works so you got to select those pieces and to do this you hold on a window system you hold down shift control and you can click now just the window pieces oops no didn't want no, 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 no. start again and we hit the delete button see there you go same thing down here this one space click it pretty much adds instead of a hole it just adds some morph lines around the windows and then we just quickly select and delete i mean it's not a big deal it doesn't take long at all right next bit again we take all the morphs going to 3d and i apply different material i've set up some brick walls here for this tutorial to show you what we can do and we got four right it's really thin at the moment very thin i mean i'm happy if you want to do this and chuck this in front of your facade but i personally extrude them by two millimeter it's very small but it gives me a bit of a thickness see a little bit so just do that with the other and um, morph elements too, two millimeter, there we go. Same here, two, and we do another two, great. Now you group this, all right, grouped, and we have to obviously obtain them by 90 now. Easiest way, I'll just do another elevation section and I will have a look and just see it's flat there we go and you just rotate it it's just much easier that way there we go so if I go back into 3d now see that's what we got right so take your morph element morph morph and we drag this all the way to our facade 
just gonna make sure. There we go. Okay, look, there's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a GDL. Well, it's not a problem, but it's display thing. So it depends if you really need this in GDL looking really good, you just have to make the morph thicker, make it five, 10 millimeter. But in this case, you will see if I hit the render button now, I'll come out just fine. Let's have a quick look. There you go, as you can see, this is perfectly rendered out exactly the way I want it. All right, I'll, I hope you enjoyed this little tip. It's very useful and I hope to see you back next time. Bye for now.